Hello, hey, welcome back. My name is Heather. We are talking all things good, bad, Amazon from a certified Amazon holic. When I tell you pretty much any time I, where if you ask me where I got something, it is Amazon. Um I just find a lot of good things on there. And like once you find stuff, it starts like recommending things to you. So we all know how Amazon works. So let's just get started because this is going to be a lot. Um, okay, so I'm going to, I guess, I'll just start from my most recent order, which was today or yesterday. I got them today. It's just these little star studs. I buy a lot of my sterling silver um, earrings and jewelry actually on Amazon because sterling is really really cheap so I 925 is sterling by the way not sterling plated um but like this like little flat disc chain I think it was like 23 bucks Amazon uh this is everything else is real but yeah I buy oh you know what Actually, all of my earrings in my ear are from Amazon. All sterling. So, if you're interested, I will link pretty much everything I can down below. But, when I tell you, the only... Some rings are Amazon, not all rings. Most of my rings are real. Okay, anyway. Okay, so let's talk. The next thing is going to be my all-time favorite lashes. They are the Kiss so real so this is the package that they come in um and they're the my lash but better like line i am wearing them today i like these because they're not too thick like they're the lashes are really spaced out and they're kind of different lengths so the only ones that i've been using they're really easy to apply i really really can't say enough good things about these lashes Okay, let's move on to something that I wasn't a fan of, and I'll show you why. So, I bought an Apple Watch, and of course, like, I wanted all the pretty accessories. So, this band is pretty, but it gave me a rash. Hang on, I'll show you. See? And, um, the gems started to turn, which, like, I know it's not real, obviously. Can you see, like, see that gem in, the, in there? Let me turn the light down. Maybe you can see it. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it on camera. But, like, what, some of the gems started turning. Just disappointed doesn't really I guess also because my Apple watch like the body is black the silver gems don't match so that was a fail for me uh, I mean I'll link it if you're interested but it did break me out so that kind of sucked um going on the trend of Apple watch I picked out a, a bumper this is the bumper and it's pretty, but it's just so bulky. Um, so it like, it looks pretty normal. But then when you add the bumper, it becomes really cumbersome. And like, I feel like I have a whole entertainment center, like a computer screen on my wrist. I don't like it. This is like, I love my Apple Watch. It's really convenient and I do recommend it. Uh, if you want to get one, I would say I am pro- team apple watch however the thing i don't like about apple watches is that they're so industrial looking to me um like they come with like a regular silicone band i don't like the silicone band um and like the face to me doesn't look very feminine but like i've always i've always worn a watch um so i try to make this as feminine as i can obviously but this was just not it for me it's pretty but it's not 
it's too too bulky, too much. Staying on Apple Watch, this band I like. It's just all black, matches my regular Apple face, and it doesn't break me out. It's lightweight, um, because I sleep with this on, you know? So this band I do recommend. I wear this band every single day. We are gonna move on to some skincare. This eye cream is really good. It's by Cetaphil. It's a hydrating eye gel cream. Um, I am. I started tretinoin, and I'm using tretinoin every day now. Uh, so if you don't know, tretinoin is, I believe it's a retinol or retin-A, and it dries you out. But um, my skincare routine, because of it, has changed because you can't use more, you can't use additional retinol products because it's just too much for your skin. So I've been really focusing on just hydration and this is really, really good. It's like thick, like Vaseline. Um, speaking of skincare, I had another toner. It was a rice toner and it's good for healing, I guess. And that's why I started looking into rice toners again, because I had to change my skincare routine because I was using tretinoin. Um, and you need your skin to be really, really moisturized. So this is the rice toner that I started using and it's good. I actually really enjoy rice toners. There's another one that I got from Amazon. Uh, but that was last year. I just went through it and decided to try this one. Um, but it's good. And it really, I noticed my skin is way calmer now. It's not as inflamed or red, especially like up in here. To go along with the skincare, to stay with my skincare, um, this stuff is really amazing. I don't use the hyaluronic acid. I just use this. So I cleanse my face and then I use the rice toner um, right afterwards and I then apply the snail mucin on top. Basically it's just very hydrating, super thick. It locks in the moisture. These are like the, the steps of my skincare routine. And the final product, the final moisturizing product is going to shock everybody because it shocked me. Honestly, I I was using like $60, $80 moisturizers and they were good. But because I switched to tretinoin, I uh, had to use something way heavier. And so I typed in what did I, like healing moisturizer or something, and this came up. This is the La Roche-Posay Triple Repair Moisture Cream Lipid Replenishing, Replenishing 48-Hour Hydration Suitable for Babies and Adults. Is this supposed to go on my face? I don't know. Does it go on my face twice a day? Absolutely. This stuff is very thick. Um, I don't even, I use a whole entire pump but it's really, really thick and it is so restoring to my face. Like, and I have not broken out. I, you can use it, you know, on your body too, obviously. It's not, it does leave you glowy though. If you don't like glowy, it's like almost oily, but it's so good for dry skin. So freaking good. I love this stuff and I'm shocked at how much I use it and how much I love it. Like I just, my skin has changed so much and I love it. Okay. So for my face wash, I use the La Roche-Posay Hydrating Gentle Skin Cleanser. Also amazing. Um, it's very it's not as sudsy, like it doesn't like foam up as much as I'm used to, but again, I have to be very, very moisturizing with my skincare routine um, and all of those products, amazing. So I cleanse my skin with the hydrating cleanser. I then immediately tone with the rice toner, followed up by the snail mucin. Um, and then when that's about a little bit more dried down, I put on my eye cream and I finish with a layer of this stuff. 
and my skin has never been happier. It is calm, my skin. It is smooth. That's probably from the tretinoin. Um, it's not flaky anymore. You just have to be careful around your eyes because the tretinoin can dry that out, but I've gotten past that and it doesn't, it doesn't happen anymore. I just realized I never turned the light back on. There we go. So for reference, this is my skin. Just looking real good. I am 36 years old. So take my skincare real, real seriously. Um, yeah, so that is pretty much all of my skincare from Amazon. A lot of it is, again, all of it is from Amazon except the Trent Noah, and you have to get that from your dermatologist. But amazing, amazing. I could talk about skincare for literal hours. Let's talk about hygiene. Um, the deodorant, the secret aluminum free coconut. I got a three pack because I was like, oh, coconut deodorant. Um, I need aluminum. I, uh, I don't think that maybe some people don't need aluminum, but holy hell, aluminum without deodorant, without aluminum, it might as well just be a scented moisturizer because my armpits stink. And no matter how fragrant your coconut deodorant is, I smell and I can't use it. So that's something that doesn't work for me. Lip plumper. I saw this lip plumper on TikTok and it's amazing. Just the plumper though. I don't use the other side of this. I think I threw it out, but... It is spicy. It's real spicy. I do actually like spicy lip plumpers. So if you're interested, I'll leave it down below. But yeah. Random thing is my coffee sweetener. <laughs> um, I am diabetic, so I can't have sugar or like sugary creamers or anything like that. So I use this cinnamon dolce zero calorie, zero sugar by Jordan Skinny Syrups. Um, and I like it. I've tried so many, so many sugar-free syrups. Um, honestly, I'm just tired of the vanilla one. I have had so many vanillas that I'm like, can I have something else? I tried a caramel one. Caramel's also good, but that cinnamon dolce one is my favorite so far. It's the least artificial tasting. Um, and a little bit goes a long way and I really like it in my coffee with a, um, like a premier protein as a creamer or something like that. I just, I buy them a lot. So I just figured I would mention them. Okay. So I love the smell of vanilla. I like to smell like a vanilla cupcake. I really enjoy the smell of vanilla. I have like body washes I have lotions um this kumba vanilla bean fragrance oil wow uh it's inexpensive and it is so strong that I will put on vanilla lotion I use the EOS vanilla cashmere which also like you could probably find that on amazon i bought mine at walmart but that stuff is thick rich creamy and smells so good and then i layer it with this like i just put a little bit on my wrists and oh my god i so good so good so fragrant like if you like vanilla you'll really 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 like that i know not everybody likes vanilla but i do um, oh, let's move on to my next favorite thing in the entire world. Tumblers, cups. I cannot get enough tumblers and cups. And this one, come on, come on. Now, I want to say I overpay for cups. Like this cup, I think was like $40, no, $35 maybe. I'll, I'll leave it linked. Um, but I love this cup just this anything bejeweled like this I love it it came with like a scrubby brush um I think extra straws you can't dishwash you can't use this in the dishwasher obviously but 
come on, this is the most Heather cup ever. Like, okay. However, um, I am diabetic, so I drink a lot of fucking water. Um, this only holds like maybe a, a bottle. This cup, also found on Amazon, first of all, holds 38 or 40 ounces, has a handle, has a straw. This is like, I call this my canteen. Like I carry this around the house everywhere. This is just like my office cup when I'm in the office. Um, yes, I know it's ridiculous how many freaking cups I have, but this will keep your drink cold forever. Um, if I put cold water in there, it's cold for a long, long time. I don't actually like cold water though. I like room temperature water because it hurts my teeth. So yeah, two cups. Really, really like those. Okay, the Elf Pout Spoken, no, Elf O-Face Satin Lipsticks. Uh, this is in the color Dirty Talk. This I bought on Amazon. Again, I'll link it. It's just like the perfect nude. It's like a pinky nude. It's satin. It's opaque. It's easy. You literally can, I can throw this on and be out the door. I don't have to think about it. And it's magnetic. So satisfying. I obviously carry this thing around. It's beat up to shit. But it's just the perfect blend of pink and brown for me. And that's my ideal color. I'm in my neutral, my neutrals. This one is the Alme Go Wild, um, Alme hashtag lip vibes in the color Go Wild. This is a matte, more peachy, and it's so inexpensive. I don't, I think this was like under 10. This one was under 10, so this is the Alme, and then that one is the Elf. So peachy, more like pink brown, just easy everyday lipsticks. You know that um, if you've never met me, I love makeup. So I will, I'll try it all. I'll try any, I'll try anything. Yeah. You know? I think I covered pretty much everything. I'm very thirsty from talking so much. <sighs> Refreshing. Um, so that is everything that I love some stuff that I don't love. Um, let me know what you recommend down below because I'm always scrolling and trying shit on Amazon. So yes, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave your comments, questions, and concerns down below, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.